What's up everyone? It is Friday, July 28th. It is around 8 p.m. and I'm going to my buddy Sam's house to work on some stuff. Hope you enjoy. So I just got to Sam's house and just a little quick note, I haven't made another video because I got injured, I bashed my knee against some concrete playing soccer and it was pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, um, today I'm not using crutches so that's good and um, you know, I'm ready to take on some more things. So right now, you meet Sam and let's go. You always look both ways before crossing the road. Hi mom. That's not my mom. So as you can see, I have a thing on. I took down my whistle for some reason. I don't know why. It's pretty weird. This has been the longest journey of my life. Oh my god. Hi guys. What's up? Yeah, yeah, real quick, keep these sick drums, dog. That new color? Yeah, dude. Okay, it's a drill. So that's what this instrument's called. Yeah. It's mayonnaise. 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 So I think it's very dangerous for me to have in my hand. I am drowning! I which, one, which one do I like way better? Huh? I'm drowning! I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think it might be like... That guy's pretty sexy. Huh? That guy's pretty sexy. That was cool that you got Jeremy on the show, man. Jeremy? Jeremy. Oh, yeah. I was gonna ask you like a few months, not a few months, like a few weeks ago. So I, I saw you put something up and I was like, oh, let me hit this, up, this dude up, see if I can play. I'm like, nah, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna be busy. So I was like, nah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go though. I'm gonna go enjoy it. Here you go. Enjoy Jeremy. Yeah, dude. Well, yeah, dude, you should have a show here for a while, so. No, you have to make shows. You have to make shows. I don't know, dude. I'm not good. <laughs> I'm really not good at making shows. Like I feel like I stress myself out way too much. About it, it is stressful because you have the pressure of timing, people, and like for my situation, money. No, money's not a problem. Like paying out people is not a problem. It's not. Is it? Then how how would you guys make the money? Just buy the tickets or what? Dude, how much money did you make for Mankind? For Mankind, we made $700 in yeah. one show. Because 100 people showed up and it was like 7 bucks in the door. We made 400 bucks at a house show. And we paid four, hands, four bands for 100 bucks. Is that the one that we played at? Yeah, yeah that's that's house. So when it comes to money, it just depends what you're out for. Like, our bands back then weren't very much for the money. It was more, let's have a good time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, yo, what's happening, YouTube? It's your boy, DJ Queso. This is DJ Quest. <laughs> okay, so what's up, guys? I'm here with Sam. So Sam, so, tell the world a little bit about yourself. I play music and I push the record button. What's right. up, dude? Okay. Yeah. And people walk into this house. People just walk into my house. I run them. Come in here, Eddie. Okay. I don't want to say hi. I want to say hi. I don't know, man. Oh, the camera's rolling. Oh, sorry. Yes. Oh, my leg, bro. My leg. My leg. My leg. What? Yeah, leg? Oh, yeah. what? <laughs> oh man. Oh my bad, man. I'm sorry. I didn't see that. It didn't happen. Okay. Yeah. I bashed my knee against some concrete. How did you do ha that? You're skating. No, um, do you guys know Liberty Park? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you know how, like, soccer fields and then mm -hmm. there's, soccer fields, there's a canal. So yeah. Canal. Okay, so, so my canal is the wall, right? Mm -hmm. This is the this floor, right? This is the grass. Floor. Okay, there's like a hole like that big. Okay. And it was dark, bro. It was dark, and we were chasing the ball. The ball disappeared, bro. And like, I should have stopped, but I was like, what? And basically, my foot went inside. I was going full speed, and with full speed, my knee hit the edge of the concrete. Yeah, hell yeah. How bad okay. was it? Pretty bad, dude. Like, oh god. Okay, like, for reference, that's a normal knee. Uh -huh. For reference, 
And his knee. I got a huge bump on the side, bro. Ooh. Oh, that looks fun. What was this? Tuesday. And like, look at it, dude. Look how sore it was. Look what we checked out. Check this out. I show my friend, he's an EMT. Mm -hmm. And this, this was yesterday. He's like, bro, you have no kneecap. <laughs> it's just like straight. It's like, yeah, dude. <laughs> just like, you're like a Ken doll. Yeah. You're like a Ken doll. <laughs> he said, he said, he's like, you're a Barbie, bro. <laughs> he's in the same thing. Yeah. Did you ever get it? Cracking a cold one? Is it in beer? I know, but people are like making fun of it. Like if it was a meme. I have no idea. Me neither, dude. I, I thought like it would have to do with beer. Me too, and then they were like, no bro, it's something else. And I was like, what is it? You have to know, bro, you have to find out. And I was like, screw you, man. <laughs> Can you really be? So it's 12.40 a.m. I just got back from Wildfire Studios and it was a good day and stuff. And I was driving back home, it's around a 20 minute drive. And I started thinking um, of physical copies that I own in my house of music and stuff. Kids are screaming. I was wondering through that and I own more physical copies of friend CDs than I do of my favorite bands. Yesterday I was very excited that I found my own My Chemical Romance CD, Danger Days, so I was like, oh, I haven't heard this CD in seven years. I lost it and I was thinking where I keep my physical copies. I have the Velvet Hughes, Michael Trinini, Jekakonia, I Survived, um, Jeremy Zapata, you know, and I was thinking like, these people that I know that put off physical copies, I I listen to them more often than I do the ones I have in my in my CD in my in my phone. I listen to those copies more at home than I do everywhere else. And it brought a smile to my face that um, the community of musicians are, are very, is very much alive, and I'm I'm very happy to you know be part of you know this journey everybody has to to make it to become something of a musician and it was a very good thought saying yeah like you know these things are possible and the music is amazing and it's being heard not only here but somewhere else 
and it makes me happy that my friends um, are going to experience that. So yeah, I guess it was the final thought of today. So see you guys that have friends that have, have physical copies of music or your music online. Now check it out. It's uh, like Jerry said, it's a labor of love, and I really hope all my friends continue and will continue to create awesome music everywhere they go. So I'm gonna limp all the way back to my house, take down my camera, my guitar, and I'm gonna call it a night. Um, if you guys like this video, like what I'm doing, like this whole one-on-one -on -one thing through camera. Leave a like, leave a comment, and yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. It's already Saturday, and I will see you all soon.